we went through the model lineup. We have the three trims, like we typically have across the board. We have a sport, a touring, and a grand touring. Our sport starts at under 20,000 at 19,960. The touring comes in at 21,960. And our top of the line GT front wheel drive at 24,990. Adding all wheel drive is a $1,250 price up across the board. And the highest price point we would good with a fully loaded all wheel drive GT with the Active Sense package is 28,160. Taking you through the lineup, under $20,000 of sport is not a strip model. It's got a lot of standard equipment. It's a great, great vehicle. Again, we have 16-inch alloy wheels. We have a rear spoiler. As I noted earlier, it includes the Mazda Connect system, the full 7-inch color, color touchscreen with the rear camera. You have your Bluetooth, your air conditioning, power windows, door locks, cruise control, tilt and telescopic wheel, remote keyless entry, and push button start. Moving to the Touring model, the Touring is not just feature content, but it's also an environment change. So you get a lot of nice features as you move up from an overall look and theme in the car. Ken kind of took that to you earlier, so when you, when you get a chance to see the car today, you'll kind of know what I'm talking about. But some of the features you see on that, we do have the leatherette with the cloth inserts, the seats are heated. We, this is where the advanced blind spot monitor and the rear cross traffic alert come in. We also have a leatherette steering wheel. We had heated side mirrors, center armrest. When you move the GT is where you really up the end. You're going to find a lot of features on this car you're not going to find on other cars in the class. 18 inch alloy wheels, standard power moonroof. We have a whole array of LED headlights, uh, LED lights, including headlights, fog lights, rear combination lights. This is where the adaptive front lighting system comes in. The active driving display is on this vehicle also standard. We have leather seats with the lux suede inserts, which is really a nice touch. It also has the lux suede in the door panels. The Bose audio is standard on this car. It's a light radio, navigation, auto AC, and paddle shifters. One thing I'll say about the active driving display that I mentioned earlier, it does not come down when you're driving. You can't manually push it down. So just be aware that when you're in the car, you cannot manually adjust it. To adjust it to your height, they can show you when we go out. You actually have to adjust it through the HMI system. So please don't grab onto it and try to think, oh, can I push it down in? Okay, so when you're driving, it will be up the whole time. Options and packages. We have two option packages. Package one is the Touring Premium package. This is $1,410. This includes the uh, Bose Moonroof, Sirius XM Radio, H, uh, Sirius, and HD Radio. Package two is where you get the safety equipment, the GT Addition Sense package for 1920. This is where you get the crash mitigation systems, radar crews. I've been control, lane departure warning, rain sensing wipers, and other headlights. We also have something we've introduced new for 2016. It's called the Mazda Mobile Start. Uh, this is a smartphone application where you can actually do multiple feed functions. You can start, stop the vehicle, the car finder, door lock and unlock, rear defroster, and it works with the Android and iOS. You can use the customer's existing data plan. It includes a one-year subscription for the first year. Continuation is $65 a year, and it's $500 MSRP unit installed accessory. And with that, i uh, just like to say we're, we're happy to have you here. We're very excited to have you get, up and get, get into the vehicles. We feel based on our design, our dynamics, and our packaging, we have a vehicle that we feel can set the benchmark for this initial safety.